everybody, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. And today we're taking a look at the new Juvi Caboose RS. Now this is a premium sit and stand stroller that you are gonna wanna take a look at. It has luxury features. It's the only sit and stand on the market that it can accommodate a bassinet. It accommodates a car seat either in the front or back. It has luxury features such as this leather handlebar, this huge canopy. There is a seat in the front. There is a bench in the back. There is a standing platform. So many great features, so let's take a look. Now let's start with the front seat. The front seat accommodates three months up to 55 pounds. If you wanna use the stroller with a newborn, you can use it with the bassinet or a car seat full sold separately. Now the front seat, it measures 13 inches wide with a 19 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 29 inches, that's right. Very tall children can sit in this front seat without worrying about hitting their head on the canopy. Now there is an adjustable padded five point harness and Juvi has this really cool magnetic buckle that is very easy to do and undo. Now to undo, you just push the two gray buttons and it's gonna pop right open. There are just three pieces, so it's not like putting a puzzle together every time. Now putting it back together, you're just gonna set the one piece right on top like that. Then go ahead and just set that one like that and it just magnets closed. Now, the seat has a three position recline. It's one handed, there is a lever up here. You just pull that up and it goes back and then all the way back to there. That's a pretty deep recline for a sit and stand. Now let's look at this baby tray. I love it. It's so modern, so clean, just looks great. It comes off, it's swing away. And then pull up on this other side. Now look at how modern this is. You can just take this off for cleaning, has two cup holder areas, bottle holders, and then a place for snacks or um, toys. Really love that, I love that it's removable. You're gonna need to remove this as well as the seat when you use it with the bassinet, which we will show you later. Now, the footrest, it's an aluminum footrest, which is different, very upgraded, I would say. So that is where your child sets their feet, very easy to wipe down. Now let's look at the rear bench. The rear bench is very handy for your older toddler to just take a seat. Now it does lock into place, but if you wanna go ahead and move it, there's two clips on the side. You just go ahead and unclip those and it's going to easily slide all the way forward like that. That's good to get it out of the way for your, if your child wants to stand on the platform or if you wanna get into the basket so it slides back and forth. Now. You do have the option to buy the rear seat. The rear seat looks like this. It's gonna attach just like this. This piece goes through the bottom of the seat to give it the five point harness. This is gonna be great. So if you have like twins and you wanna make it a regular double stroller or if you have two little ones um, that you have one that always wants to have, you know, a, a full bath, it, it's reclining. Definitely a really good option for the second seat. I love that that is an option. But if you're looking for just a platform and a bench, this one is great just as is. Like I said, it slides and then it can lock into place wherever you want it to lock. Okay, so this is the rear seat installed. Now this is sold separately, but it turns it into a full size double. Plus, I love that this rear seat is just like the front seat, which it also has the recline. It has the five point magnetic harness. Really, really great. And since the canopy is so huge, it covers both the rear and the front rider. So you don't have to worry about the rear rider being in the sun. So I really, really love that. Um, I do love that this is a great addition to the stroller. So if you have two twins or kids of different ages, definitely get invest in the back seat. I think it's just, a really awesome idea. And um, let's go ahead and talk about the platform. Okay, so this is the part that makes it a sit and stand stroller. Now this is the standing platform. It's for, like I said, your older toddler or your more responsible rider um, so that they stand here because their job is to stand and hold on. So if you have a little one that likes to jump off mid ride, they might wanna go in the front seat. So this is a standing platform, nice, large, a lot of place to, for them to have their feet and then they just hang on. And like I said, you can um, slide this uh, bench out of the way if you wanted to so that if you had the standing rider and you wanted to get into the basket or the front seat wants to be reclined, things like that. So really, really great large standing platform. Okay, so let's talk about the storage on the Caboose RS. 
First of all, you have this cup holder right here. It is sold separately. I don't want to mislead you on that. You definitely want to get it though because you could put bottles and cups and whatever you want. Plus it looks really cute. Now the basket underneath is huge and it can hold up to 25 pounds. That does not mean that a child should go in the basket. I know it's a high weight limit. Please, people, do not put your children in the basket. But that being said, it can hold a lot of weight, a lot, quite a few diaper bags. I could get at least three diaper bags in there. They slide right forward. I could put jackets. I could pretty much bring all of the things in this basket. Now let's talk about the canopy. This is one of the biggest sit and stand canopies on the market. First of all, it's like a really soft and neoprene material and it has four panels and you're like, that's a pretty good size, Holly, but it opens up even farther so that it can cover both your rear and your front rider. Now, the best way I found to get this to open and stay is to actually push down on the sides and open it on the sides like this. So you wanna go ahead and open it like that and that will have it stay. I know there have been some people that say I can't get the, um, the canopy to stay. Just push down on each side and it should stay perfectly. So as you can see, huge canopy, lots of sun coverage. Now let's talk about the handle. The handlebar, this is a leather handlebar. It's gorgeous, it's nice to hold, just really, really luxury. Now it is taller at 44 inches from ground to where I place my hands. I wish it were adjustable. I am fi almost 5'5". Five five. It's comfortable for me, but if you were super short, I think it might be a tad high, so I would love to see them make this adjustable in future models. Um, but if you are tall, you will love it. I'm telling you, you will love it. I have tall shoes on, and it's super perfect for me right now at about 5'7". Mm, so that is the handlebar. Okay, let's go down to the wheels. The wheels are big wheels that give it great maneuverability. We got a little over 11 inches in back and a little over seven inches in the front. They are hard rubber wheels. Like I said, great maneuverability. You can lock the front wheels straight in case you're going over a little mommy terrain, grass, playground mulch, things like that. Um, and on the back, there are one-step brakes, which are super easy to locate, super easy to use, and they're flip-flop friendly. You just step down on the lock button and that's gonna lock the stroller into place. Step down on the unlock button and it unlocks and you're ready to roll. Okay, so let's show you how to fold the stroller. The easiest way I found is to push the canopy all the way forward. Now there is a white button. You're gonna flip open the white button and squeeze. I grab the front. It has an automatic lock on the side. Now it doesn't have a standing fold. So you're gonna to need to lean this against something, throw it in your trunk, something like that. But I did wanna mention that there is no standing fold. But this is a pretty compact, well, I would say this is a pretty typical package for a sit and stand stroller. Like I said, this is a double stroller, so it's gonna be large. It shouldn't have any trouble fitting in a large sedan trunk, an SUV, a minivan, pretty much what we're all driving. Now, to unfold it, all you have to do is go ahead and unlock the auto lock on the side. Let it fall open until you hear it click. That will mean it's locked into place. Go ahead and put your canopy wherever you want and you are ready to roll. Now let's talk about the bassinet. This is a sold separately bassinet and I absolutely adore it. Like I said, this is the first sit and stand that accommodates a bassinet. Now I'm not gonna show you installing the bassinet on the Caboose RS today. I'm gonna put that in a separate video just for time's sake. But what you are gonna do is you're going to remove this front seat and it has adapters that go with it and it's gonna pop right here in front so you can still use the back platform, the back seat um, for your second rider. But let me just show you this bassinet here for a second. It's gorgeous. First of all, the, the outside fabric is really, really nice to touch. It has a uh, carry handle right here. It has a nice big canopy, but the inside fabric where the baby's skin touches, it's like butter. It's so soft. It's beautiful. Like I said, I want sheets made out of this interior for my own bed. It's that soft. I absolutely love it. So it has that removable mattress so that you could zip away this white lining to clean it. I just adore this bassinet and I love the fact that this is now an option to use a bassinet because I know a lot of people like to push a pram with a newborn. So this 
Your second baby doesn't have to miss the pram stage. You could have your baby in the newborn and your older rider on the back, either in the, in the seat, the second seat, on the platform or on the bench. But like I said, check out our, our channel for an upcoming video on how to remove the front seat and install the bassinet. It's not hard. I just didn't want to take up too much time in this video. Okay, so with this premium sit and stand, it has 16 different configurations with a bassinet, a car seat, the rear rider standing, sitting on the bench, sitting in a rear seat. So many different configurations makes this stroller very versatile. Now, the premium stroller is gonna come with a premium price. It retails for $699, but with all the luxury touches such as the leather handlebar, the huge canopy, the ability to take a bassinet, the recycled fabric, the amazing, baby tray here that is so modern and so fun and so easy to clean. The huge basket that has a really high weight limit so you can just pack it full of all of the things. The great push because of the big large tires and the easy fold. You know what? you get what you pay for, right? So I absolutely love all of those things. Now, what would I add? I would add a standing fold. Um, that's probably one of the things I would add. I would also make this, this handlebar adjustable just for some of the short moms and dads out there. Um, but other than that, I think it's pretty awesome. So take a look at it, see if it fits your family. Leave me a comment, let me know. What is your favorite feature about the Juvie Caboose RS? Is it the fact that it takes a bassinet or is it the huge canopy? I don't know, you let me know in a comment. And don't forget to look out for our other videos. I'm probably gonna do another video too on how to install the back seat. Again, not hard, but instead of reading the manual from cover to cover, I will just show you how to do it because I've already done the work for you. So that's it guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you next time. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye guys.